Welcome back to our channel and thank you once again for joining us. I am Terry Ann Alain, proud autism mom, and we are here to share with you tips and tricks of how we navigate through our journey right here on the Autistic Edge. Now, happy Sabbath! Today is Sabbath and guess what? We are about to do story time. It's story time with Alex Xavier. Now, our lesson study for this week talk about the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus went into the garden to pray. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about how we are going to be doing our story today. Now, we are going to do this in the form of a diorama. A diorama is a small image or a miniature image of a bigger scene, right? So, for Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane today, we are going to be building the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, instead of telling him the story, we are going to be doing it in a different format. And that is in the form of the diorama. Now, when you do this, what you find is he will be garnering certain skills. For example, imitation skills. You're going to be able to tell him, instruct him what to do. You, you will see him following in instructions. You'll also see him doing object identification. Because as you go along through building this scene, you are able to introduce him to different objects and when you build the area we talk a little bit or tell him what the area is now this is an interesting one that you can't afford to miss so guess what stay right there we will be right back all right alex now we are going to do story time we're gonna do story time so today we are going to look at jesus in the garden of get send me in the garden of get tell me send me very good we are going to build the garden of get send me okay okay all right now you remember we went through the story last week jesus went into the garden to pray, pray. jesus went into the garden to pray. pray jesus went into the garden to pray and who went with Jesus? His disciples. Who went with Jesus? His disciples. Disciples. Very good. So now, let us build that beautiful garden that Jesus went into to pray. Now, Alex, we are saying that Jesus went into the garden in the night. Look at me. Jesus went into the garden in the yeah. In the night, no, in the night, what are some of the things you see in the sky? You see? Moon, you see? Moon. What is this? This is a moon. Where you want to put the moon? Put it way up in the sky. Very good. What do you normally put with the moon? This? Stars, beautiful. Come on, put it up there. Nice. Let me catch it properly. Here is another. What is this? This is a star. star. Beautiful. And in the night, there were some also some dark clouds. We saw some dark clouds. You see any cloud there? Yes. Right. That's the cloud. Where you gonna put the cloud? Put that big one over there. Hold on. There is a. Yeah. There is a. Yes. Yes. Fascinating. Good boy. Do you see any more clouds? Nice. Yes, where you want to put that cloud? Come on, where you gonna put the cloud? Put it over here. Beautiful. There's a help over here. Alright, nice. So you put the cloud over there. So this was a nice sky to the back of the garden. We had some trees. We had some trees and Flowers, trees and flowers. flowers. Now, Alex, I'm going to lend you my flowers to put in my garden, in your garden. Don't mash it up now, please. All right? No, don't roll them together. I don't want them to roll together. All right. Alex, put these flowers in the corner over there. Put it in the corner. In the corner. Beautiful. Yes, put it 
right up here in the corner, in the corner. You see another flowers? Bring that flowers. Bring that big one. Take your time. Put it in this corner. All right. So we're gonna turn it around like this. Alice, our garden is coming together. This is, a, this is tree and mountain. What do you see here? This is a stone. This is a stone. All right. Come in here. Yes. Put it down a little. Fasten it. All right. Also, in the garden, we also had some trees. We also had some trees. Is there a tree right there? Is there a tree there? Yes. All right. Now put the tree in the garden. Where do you want to put the tree in the garden? I'm gonna put it right here. Beautiful, Alexander. I just love it. What else? We, you want to build a pond in the garden. A pond. Yes! We use the blue. Alright, so we're going to use this piece to build a pond. Um, where you want to put this pond? Come on. Put it in one of the corners. Put it over here. Put it here. Put it down. Put it down flat. Where you want to put this one? Over in that corner. That's where you want to put it? Alright. If that's where you want to put it, I am good with where you want to put the pond. Okay. Now, Alex, to get to the garden, we need a road. We need a road. This was the road. Hmm? Where you want to put the road in the garden? Come on, put the road in the garden. All right. That was a nice road in the garden. This is it? Wall. Wall. All right, put it in. Let's put it in one of the pots. Come on. Where you want to put your wall? That's where you want to put the wall? Alright. Don't move the thing. Anywhere you put your wall, Alex, all I want to do is to fix it properly for you so that it don't fall over. Alright? That's where you want to put your wall. Let's build out the pond. Now around the pond, you're gonna put some rocks. You're gonna put some rocks. Alright, so here are the rocks. Where you want to put it? You want to put it right beside it? Right, nice. Um, did you put grass in it? Okay. Where you want to put it? Right here. 
to put this one, put it in the open right there. No, put it in, yes. You want to put grass on it? Come put some bush on it, tuck it on it. This is a, what is this? This is a stone. stone. Where you want to put the stone? Put it where you want to put the stone. No, turn it around. Right. Put the road in the corner there. Put it in the corner. Put it down. Put it flat. Flat. Put it down. Put it down. Yes. And where you want to put the gate? Put the gate right here. Put it right in the corner there. Put it up in the corner. Put it up in the corner. Put another one on it. You want to put another one on it? All right, bring it on it. Don't put any more. Can you catch around here? Let me put it around here for you. No, give it to me. Give it to me. Let me put it around here for you. Nice and put them in here. Nice. Just fill it out with some bush. And this is a beautiful garden. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful? Yes. All right, now, Jesus went into this garden with his disciples. Who went into the garden? Jesus went into the garden. The garden. Put him in the garden. Put him right over there. Right. Jesus came to the garden. Put the disciples beside Jesus. Put them right there. Beautiful. So Jesus and his disciples. So where is Jesus? Show me Jesus. Jesus. Beautiful. So this is Jesus. And where are the disciples? Show me the disciples. The dis where are the disciples? Yes, those are the disciples. Jesus went into the garden to pray. Beautiful. Are you ready to put Jesus to pray? But Jesus left his disciples. He went to the back of the garden. Go put him around here to pray. Put Jesus to pray. It's okay. Jesus went into the garden to pray. And so he left his disciples and went to Pray. Where is Jesus praying? Show me Jesus praying. Where is Jesus praying? Beautiful. Jesus is way in the back of the garden praying. And his disciples waited for Jesus. Now the next time we do this story, we are going to tell what the disciples were doing in the garden. So touch the moon. Moon. Where are the stars? Show me the stars. Show me the stars. Beautiful. Wow, 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 man, Alex was so engaging, Alex participated, and listen, I can't even find words to describe what just went down with Alex in the Garden of Gethsemane. For me, that water pond was my favorite part. I mean, when he was putting that pond together, he did it like an expert. He just put in his stones as if he knew about building water pond. But you know what? I'm going to have to allow him to build one on the outside for me. I'll share that with you when we get to that project. But guess what? Thank you once again for joining us in this another episode of Living on the Autistic Edge. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and make sure you subscribe. 
if you also know a parent or a teacher or someone, a relative, anyone who wants to know about this content or who needs to know about this content, be very sure to share this one with them. Thank you once again for joining us in this another episode of Living on the Artistic Edge.